In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new SF Symbols for new for 2022. Before we jump into things, drop a like down below, hit subscribe, you guys on the drill, let's talk about them symbols. So the two things we'll talk about today are the 700 plus new symbols available with SF Symbols 4, which brings the grand total above 4,000 in terms of symbols available, which is pretty nuts. And the more interesting thing in my opinion, which is variable color, which allows us to leverage color to basically tweak how icons look to showcase different things. It might be, you know, how strong your Wi-Fi signal is, uh, you know, how loud a speaker is, et cetera, et cetera. Other than that, there are also automatic rendering modes now, which will select the rendering mode that is best suited for an icon, as well as unified layer annotations. We'll particularly focus on the variable color and new icons. So without further ado, I've already actually installed the beta for SF Symbol 4, and here we are in it. We have a very familiar SF Symbols app. Here are a bunch of the new symbols that are available, things like clipboard, things like uh, you know, arrows, various arrows in different directions. And of course, we've got our variable category here as well. So the best way to see what this actually looks like and what the heck the point of this variable thing is, is to see it in action. So we're gonna jump on over to Xcode 14 beta here, create a new project and jump into things. I'll select the app template under iOS and we're gonna call this SF symbol updates like so and we'll stick with swift ui and swift this is good in ui kit as well if you choose to use it so we'll go ahead and expand our window here and i'm going to go ahead and uh, get our preview up and running which it looks like it loaded before i even uh, finished saying it so let's actually create a row a horizontal stack of four images so i'm going to toss a h stack inside of here and what we are going to do is bring in a image with a system name of perhaps Wi-Fi. We're going to make it resizable. We are going to give it a frame with a width and height of perhaps a hundred. Should be good, hopefully. And we'll also give it a foreground color. Uh, let's do color dot blue. Now, one thing which I'll be covering in another video, but I'll call it out since we're here, is the new SwiftUI previews are live and interactive by default, and we can also have multiple schemes, be it dynamic font, orientation, or color, side by side so we can see multiple you know, variants in the same uh, canvas view, which is pretty nice. So we're here to talk about some variable colors. So we can actually specify a variable argument here, variable value, and this is something from 0.0, .0 to 1.0, and it is, of, co of course, nullable. So basically, if I specify 1.0, we, spe we expect this Wi-Fi icon to be filled in. And let me actually also set the aspect ratio so it's not smushed. Now, 1.0 makes a lot of sense. Now, what if I wanted to signify that, hey, we only have about 30% signal strength? and thereby only you know, fill in 30% uh, of this. We can do that by using this variable value. So there is 30%, and what I'll actually do is copy and paste this uh, two more times here. We'll fix up that alignment, and we'll change this to perhaps 6.6, uh, six, six, and this one here will be 1.0. And you'll quickly start to see the power of these variable values passed in with particular symbols. Now, there's actually quite a few in here that already support variable uh, values, you can also create your own. So let's take a look at a couple examples together. So I don't want to copy and paste this too many times. So what I'll do here is I'll create a reusable view for our variable uh, example. I'll call it variable view, super creative. And here we're going to have our body. We'll paste on this H stack in. And to create this, we are going to pass in a icon string, and we'll use this icon here uh, each time instead of the Wi-Fi that we've hard-coded. And this way we can take a look at a bunch in one shot. So let's create this variable view here, and we'll pass in a icon of Wi-Fi. Let's do another one, and I think one that comes to memory is uh, speaker.wave.3, I believe is one of them as well, and you can see here that we can essentially signify the fact that uh, each of the different uh, icons have a different volume. And let me actually add a little bit of padding here to this so we can space things out just a little bit. Add some padding there, some there, some there. 
and perhaps we'll add a divider between this two just because my OCD is wanting me to add a divider like so. So cool, so we see that we have our uh, two icons there and let's take a look back in SF symbols to see what else we can use. There's some pretty interesting ones. So raise is pretty nice, we'll try raise and let's see, what else can we play with here? So we also have shower. Perhaps if you're making you know, a smart home type application, you can leverage that to showcase if uh, you know, your water has been running upstairs or not. So we'll change this to shower and raise. And just like that, we have our icons with the variable values passed in. So that is something that I think is particularly useful that a lot of folks will be using in a nutshell. SF symbols, like I mentioned, of course, has 700 plus new uh, icons in here to play with, and some of them are actually pretty useful. Um, so take a look. Let me know what you think. If you haven't done so already, drop a like down below. Hit subscribe if you're new here and into iOS. Stay tuned for tons of more WWDC videos. Connect on all the socials, LinkedIn, Twitter. Shoot me a message if you have any questions. Thanks again for watching. I will catch you on the next one. Thank you.